முக்கிய செய்தி வங்கிகளுக்கு ரிசர்வ் வங்கி வழங்கும் குறுகிய கால கடன்களுக்கான வட்டி விகிதம் பூஜ்ஜியம் புள்ளி ஐந்து பூஜ்ஜியம் சதவீதமாக அதிகரிக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறது நாட்டின் சந்தைகள் நிலையற்ற தன்மையில் உள்ளதாகவும் பணவீக்கம் அதிகரித்துள்ளதாகவும் இது தொடர்பாக ரிசர்வ் வங்கி ஆளுநர் சக்திகாந்த தாஸ் தெரிவித்திருக்கிறார் இந்த நிலையில் இதனை கருத்தில் கொண்டு தற்போது வங்கிகளுக்கு ரிசர்வ் வங்கி வழங்கும் குறுகிய கால கடன்களுக்கான வட்டி விகிதத்தை பூஜ்ஜியம் புள்ளி ஐந்து பூஜ்ஜியம் சதவீதமாக அதிகரிக்கப்பட்டிருப்பதாகவும் ரிசர்வ் வங்கி ஆளுநர் சக்திகாந்த தாஸ் தெரிவித்திருக்கிறார் namely protracted geopolitical tensions rising global financial market volatility tightening of global financial conditions and global recession risks <coughs> taking all these factors into con- into consideration the real gdp growth projection for 2022 23 is retained at 7.2% which Q1 at 16.2%, Q2 at 6.2%, Q3 at 4.1% and Q4 at 4% with risks broadly balanced. Real GDP growth for Q1 23-24 is projected at 6.7%. Now there may be a question which of course will come in the subsequent press conference but i think uh, to remove any ambiguity even at this point of time let me say that uh, somebody might as well ask that in the q3 and q4 of the current year the growth goes down to 4.1% and uh, uh, 4% in q4 then suddenly it goes up to 6.7% next year what is happening is that the base base effect is at play and the 4. Uh, Uh, 1% and the 4% in Q3 and Q4 of this year are primarily due to base effects. We can explain in more detail during the press conference which will come up at 12 p.m. Inflation. Now let me focus on inflation. June 2022 was the sixth consecutive month when headline CPI inflation remained at, at or above the upper tolerance level of 6%. Looking ahead, the inflation trajectory continues to be heavily contingent upon the evolving geopolitical developments international commodity market dynamics global financial market developments and the spatial and temporal distribution of the southwest monsoon since the last mpc meeting however there has been some let up in global commodity prices particularly in the prices of industrial metals and also some softening in global food prices domestic edible oil prices are expected to soften further on the back of improving supplies from key producing countries and government's supply side measures the resumption of wheat supply from the black sea region which happened a couple of days ago if it sustains could help to temper international prices of wheat supply chain pressures though elevated are on an easing trajectory further the advance of the southwest monsoon is by and large on track and kharif sowing has picked up in recent weeks the shortfall in kharif sowing of paddy however needs to be watched closely although the huge buffer stocks that are available are you know uh, provide some kind of will provide some kind of moderating impact on possible inflation household inflation expectations have eased but they still remain elevated incidence of unseasonal and excessive rainfall if any can impact food prices especially the prices of vegetables greater transmission of input cost pressures to selling prices across manufacturing and services sectors may also create fresh price pressures moreover persistently elevated cost of living conditions could translate to higher wages and further price increases especially if pricing power of firms strengthen taking into account these factors and on the assumption of a normal monsoon in 2022 and average crude oil price that is indian basket of 
US dollar 105 per barrel. Inflation is projected at 6.7 percent in 2022-23, that is the current year, with Q2 at 7.1 percent, Q3 at 6.4 percent, and Q4 at 5.8 percent, with risks evenly balanced. CPI inflation for the first quarter of next financial year 2023-24 is projected at 5 percent. The inflation trajectory is now poised at a decisive point. While there are incipient signs of a confluence of factors that could lead to further softening of domestic inflationary pressures, there remain significant. Mm -hmm.